A shortage of new Subarus on the horizon. That and more on Subaru News. So Subaru announced in the beginning of April that they would be shutting down their Gunma Japan plant for the majority of the month of April due to the semiconductor shortage. The Gunma Japan plant is responsible for production of the Crosstrek Forester WRX, WRX STI, and BRZ models. This plant, as of the time of making this video, has been shut down for, as I said, the majority of the month of April. I believe the shutdown started around April 10th, and they're supposed to be shut down through to the 27th of April. Uh, they believe that they have lost somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10,000 cars of production during this shutdown. Well, just a few days ago, Subaru of America announced that they will too be shutting down now the Lafayette, Indiana plant. The Lafayette, Indiana plant is responsible for production of Outback Legacy, Ascent, and Impreza models. They are now predicting that they will lose about 15,000 models in this shutdown period, again blaming the shortage of semiconductors, in part due to the shipping blockages of the issue that happened at the Suez Canal. Subaru of America plans to restart production early May at the Lafayette, Indiana plant, as well with the Gunma Japan plant but this will most likely affect dealer inventory over the next month or two. So Subaru is a very small manufacturer. They are still the smallest auto manufacturer of the major auto manufacturers. Uh, they do not have the capacity of the GMs, Fords, and Toyotas of the world to sit on massive amounts of new inventory outside of their production plants at a moment's notice ready to ship it to their retailers. Subaru is more of a, as soon as it's off the line, it is getting shipped out straight to retailers and dealers. Uh, they don't have much stock sitting around. So with the shutdown and the loss of an estimated 25,000 vehicles, uh, there may be some shortages in inventory at local dealers, and they are just going to have to get by with what other dealers have in inventory and swapping back and forth. This shutdown may affect the rollout of new 2022 models, especially the new Wilderness model that was set to be in dealer possession by the summer. Uh, so the new Wilderness Outback, uh, the 2022 all model year vehicles are going to be later arriving to the retailers than initially anticipated due to the shutdown. But as mentioned earlier, Subaru believes that production will be back to track by the beginning of May and hopefully will not impact things too negatively and hopefully all the retailers can get by with what they have in inventory currently. The scary times of the last year, year and a half continue to uh, give uncertainty even in our automotive sector. Uh, it basically affects all facets of life and has affected all facets of life uh, with these plant shutdowns, which, uh, you know, is uh, kind of trying for the uncertainty of the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.